my DMs are blowing up and I got a lot of questions and a lot of comments, as do I, about the fact that the GD500 is coming in officially at a portly 4,225 pounds. What's up, fam? this message finds you all well and in great spirits. Well, well, well. I had another video actually scheduled and uploaded, but we had to talk about this because my DMs are blowing up and I got a lot of questions and a lot of comments, as do I, about the fact that the GD500 is coming in officially at a portly 4,225 pounds on the scale. Uh, that is quite heavier than some of us had anticipated. Before I go into why it's heavier, or, or heavier than we thought it'd be, first let me get my fan reaction out of the way, and then I'll get into some of the logistics of why it's not as bad as you think, and the plan going forward when we get the car. Uh, number one, we can no longer, unfortunately, make fun of our Mopar friends because the Mustang is getting pretty heavy. Uh, the 2018 Mustang I'm in now uh, is 3,825 pounds, and we've always kind of kept that little dirty secret away that, we, oh yeah, you know, it's a little rate reduction, and you know, I take out the seats, I do certain things to get the 3650 uh, racing rate, the drag strip, uh, but, you know, 3825 is what this car that I'm in weighs, and you know, that's pretty heavy considering uh you know you're getting closer to the you're closer to 4000 pounds now the GT500 is officially 4225 which is very close to the Dodge Demon that's right the Dodge Demon is at i believe 4280 so what we got to do is let me just double check here my good old Google and the Demon is for yeah 4280 pounds is the Dodge Demon so we're not we can't make the boat jokes i don't know this stinks i love i love the boat jokes like that's the fan in me you know my, my first reaction is darn i love making fun of my mopar buddies with the boat jokes and the anchors and the ships and the cruise ships but uh you know for right now they have the uh they have the upper hand because that's pretty that's pretty heavy but uh I had a chance to kind of uh, check in with a lot of good sources, a lot, of, a great source by the way, I'll put a link down below, is Evan Smith. He is a OG, amazing journalist in the Mustang game, and I actually talked to him for about an hour this morning, and uh, he's starting a YouTube channel, very good source, very knowledgeable source, so check him out, link down below to his channel, and we got a chance to chit chat, so we'll be doing some collabor collaborations going forward when we get to different events. Uh, but he told me these, you know, that uh, it's true. Uh, that is on the official brochure. But he gave me some insight that I'm sharing with you. And also, you know, what kind of my personal plan is uh, going forward with this new news. You know, this 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 is 4,225 4, pounds. Now, that's not even talking about me. You, th you throw my behind in there, you're well over 4,500 pounds and trying to get to this car down this. Now... The Demon has done it, you know, the Challenger Hellcat Red Eye has done it, you know, they, they go down the strip. What's peculiar to me is, the car is, is marketed not only as a drag strip car, but also as a uh, track car. And us just going to the roll racing event and going on the track at Pocono Raceway, you know, I guess they're trying to do both and, you know, we'll see how that goes. But you know, I'm a little disappointed, I'll be 100% honest with you, I, I wish, I was hoping even if it was little, if even if it weighed less than the Camaro ZL1, and that would have been good. I believe the ZL1 uh, comes in at about 4100, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the one, uh, I think it's the one LE comes at 4100. But you know, most of these muscle cars uh, that uh, are from the factory that have superchargers, like the Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, Hellcat, Camaro ZL, uh, ZL1 and now the Mustang GT500, they're all gonna weigh over 4,000 pounds. It is just the reality 
Uh, you know, don't we can't even talk, we dare, dare we talk about the Corvette because that's a whole different, that's a two-seater, true sports car. That weighs, you know, 32 to 3,600 pounds. That's out the door. We're not talking about that. That's mid-engine now. But, you know, just the person to me, it's kind of, it's 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 a it's a big number. It's portly. Uh, now, like I said, I was talking to Evan. I was, I was talking to some contacts at Ford. And basically, this is the, the reality, right, guys? The car is going to be heavier because of uh, three major factors is what I've kind of narrowed it down to. And first, got to start first and foremost is because they had to cool the car. Well over 850 gross. So it's a substantial uplift from the 526 horsepower of the GT350. Okay, so we've got six coolers on this, six heated exchangers. Uh, we've actually got an auxiliary uh, water uh, uh, radiator for the engine on the left side, and then we've got the oil cooler on the right side, and we've got a stack of coolers throughout. The car uh, is being touted as being able to maintain its horsepower and all all power through all ranges through a session. Now, as I explained here in this video clip, I'll show you is that they want the power to be able to maintain from full tank to empty. So to do that, they have to make sure it's cool. So what does that mean? It means more radiator, more cooling. So there, that adds to the 400 pounds over this GT and the GT500. Then. What you have to talk about is also the all new, brand new, seven speed dual clutch transmission. For a really special part of this car, the dual clutch transmission. This is our and solution. So we knew when we created this car capable of this kind of output that we needed a power trend drive line that could complement it, could give us something that was fast and smooth, was very capable on the track and at the drag strip and with everyday driving. So we partnered with these, with uh, Tremec to do this dual clutch transmission or DCT. It's a wet dual clutch setup. It's got seven forward gears. It's the first dual clutch. That again adds to the weight. Um, not to mention, uh, just all the suspension upgrades along with, you know, those huge rotors, which are like big pizzas, uh, big pizzas, I don't say pizza, lean tower pizza, big pizzas on each tire, those are pretty heavy in and of itself. One of the things that someone told me was that the reason we're going to drag brakes on the GT I have is because the front uh, performance pack Brembo's are like boat anchors in regard to drag racing. But when in regards to racing, you know, you want that kind of braking ability. You need those brakes. So what happens is when you have a vehicle which is trying to do a bunch of different things really well, drag racing, roll, uh, I said roll racing, drag racing, racetrack, it's kind of fighting each other in certain aspects. But that's how you want to have a, a weapon that does everything well, not just one, uh, one only thing right like the demon um so that that kind of explains the weight you know the cooling the transmission and all that suspension upgrades um i know there's carbon fiber uh the, the like the clip that came up also the official like on the brochure that the dealer brochure that came out to confirm the 4025 i don't know if that's the weight with the carbon fiber package if that makes it any lighter or not compared to the base uh, well, that remains to be seen, you know, off the top of my head, you know, I know I saved a couple hundred pounds almost just from my own rate reduction stuff. Uh, the the backseat's already gone to 500 so maybe I'll do when I go to the drag strip, we will take out the passenger seat, um, you know, take out the strut tower, I don't know, you know, we'll see what happens, take out the subwoofer in the back, because weight is the enemy of performance, uh, maybe I just gotta go on a diet now. <laughs> So, you know, the reality is I, I'm disappointed, but I understand, but I'm not, I'm not discouraged. That number, the numbers from a fan perspective, you know, from a fan perspective, the numbers haven't, I haven't been able to be blown away. You know, I haven't been able to, uh, trust me, I want to fly the flag. I want to fly the flag and I want to, you know, talk to my buddies at the strip and, you know, really get amped up and geeked up, but it just hasn't been, I haven't been able to really just be as braggadocious with my claims here you know 760 is awesome uh but it's not you know 840 or 797 uh 
the price tag is pretty good starting 74 it doesn't start under 60 you know and now the weight so like these kind of things are like there's body blows it's like ah man it's not as powerful oh it's a little pricier ah you know now it's heavy so but the faithful we are the faithful We're, we have to go test the car we are gonna still buy it we have to see i mean let me know what do you guys think about the weight do you think it's disappointing it's just the climate with the car with the chassis it is what it is you know um you know i i don't know it's it's a heavy car it, that's a lot of weight i mean you're talking you're talking at the fact that it's closer to, it's it's beginning to be in a truck level of weight so just want to touch base that yes that is confirmed to answer all the dms i'm getting that yeah that it is 42 25 is the weight without a driver so um yeah we'll we'll find out more as as we get uh more information now this is again this is a quick video i wanted to put it out to answer some of your questions to verify what i know and to, to help answer a lot of the a lot of the questions i'm getting uh and, and that i've checked with some reputable sources that yes indeed it is definitely 4225 and um uh, yeah, but we'll do we'll do our things. We'll, we'll go to the drag strip and we'll do what we do to to reduce the weight and uh, have some tricks up our sleeve as well. You know, like I said, for right now, a little disappointing as far as pumping our chest with the numbers um, because everyone was like 965, the demon, and didn't, it didn't hit it. But the point was, people still got to brag about 965. Maybe for taking the opposite approach, not being as crazy with the initial uh, stats, but the numbers of the strip and the quarter mile and all that. I know they just they just increased the top speed from 180 to 186. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Comment below, let me know. Is it too much weight for you? Is it, is it, is it expected because this is what the climate is with these cars now? Or is it just, or you know, other? All right, y'all, quick video, like, subscribe. We, I still have other racing uh, videos coming out from the uh, roll racing event at the Pocono Raceway. Stay tuned for that. I told you I had a video like every day this week, and I got more coming because, again, I'm going to Woodward Cruise. Some of you hit me up. It's informal. I have no idea where I'm going to be at. I am going to be working a lot of events. So I'm basically just stay, stay locked into my Instagram and my YouTube if you want to just get up, say what's up, chit-chat, and uh, love to say hello to you. All right, y'all. Appreciate the support. Please. I don't do this, but I, do, I need to do it more often is what I'm told by a lot of people. Please, please like, please like. I don't ask for likes that much, but likes actually really do drive up the videos uh, way it gets broadcasted. Um, and if you dislike, just hit the dislike button twice. Appreciate it because you guys know it never ends. Peace.